two. You decided to click on this video, didn't you? Or did you end up here by accident? The world will never know. Anyway, so I'm Elrond Hubbard, and I am currently 24, and, and, like, five days pregnant, yes, and she is a wonderful little girl, and she's the best thing that ever happened to me in my whole entire weird life. And I call her the lump right now, because, like, I don't have to do a video on that. She just looks like a lump, but I, like, lay down, because it's a little oddly shaped. Where, you know, she is and all that. Um, anyway. So you want to know about boobies. And how they change during pregnancy. Well, I'm here to tell you more than you ever wanted to know. Alright, so I've gotten a couple of questions. And I even had a couple of questions. And I did some research. When you are pregnant, your boobies get bigger. Which means the skin stretches. Which means stretch marks. Yeah. I mean, I know that you probably, if you are pregnant or you have a pregnant partner, already knew about stretch marks. What I bet you didn't know is they go everywhere. EVERYWHERE! They're all over the place. They're like underneath, they're on the side, they're on the top. It's just like... <laughs> inflation. And the skin only stretches so far before... The, stu the stuff that keeps them together, the, the cellulose, I believe, starts to give out, which leaves the little, uh, what is it? They kind of the silver marks. They're really red and purple when it first happens, and it's really awkward. And you're just sitting there like, oh my god, look at my boobies. They're so hideous. Er. Well, you know. I'm six months. They've already gotten two cup sizes bigger. And I found out they're going to get even bigger after she's born. Because then my milk's really going to start coming in. I'm already producing way more than I should. If I can sit there and, like, get five milliliters out at a time. And I'm, like, 24 weeks. That's really a lot. I cannot go anywhere in public without a nursing bra or, like, I feel like I'm stuffing sanitary pads into the cups because, like, if you don't and you hear a baby cry, even at 24 weeks, it's like, and it just comes. You can't help it. You can't stop it. It just happens. Some people don't really produce milk until later on or, you know, they just have trouble in general. And I guess I just got lucky. I anticipate breastfeeding Ashlyn. Um... I don't think there will be problems. You never know. Um, do your nipples change? Yes, they do. They do, big time. Um, they get darker and sometimes they get bigger. Now, I've seen some pregnant lady boobies. Because I watch some breastfeeding videos. Let me tell you, them things are like this big. I got lucky. Mine didn't change that bad. They just got really dark. Um, are they sensitive? Yes! Oh my gosh, yes. I, like, started crying when the seatbelt hit me wrong in the car. And you can bet your booty in public, if you bump into my chest, you better run. Because, crap. The teeth and the fangs will come out. Um, another weird thing is that they itch. Like, they just itch all over. You could be laying there like, hey, yeah, I'm how much to sleep. <laughs> uh, nope, your boobies are going to start itching. You got to roll over and scratch that crap. And then as soon as you scratch it, it's like, <clears throat> and then you got to get up and clean it up. <laughs> I remember, like, when I first started producing, I think I was like 13, 14 weeks, and I woke up and my sheets were just covered, and it was nasty, and I had to change them. And I didn't know what to do, and then, you know, started doing some research, and then, oh yeah, there's pads you can stick in your bra! That's a should have had a V8 moment right there. Um, what is the most annoying thing about your milk coming in? Uh, probably not being able to sleep without a bra on. That is, oh my gosh, I just want to, like, <clears throat> and, um, it's not breastfeeding that causes your breast to sag, by the way. It's like people not wearing bras. It's 
the fact that you get pregnant. I mean, you might as well breastfeed. The damage is done. <laughs> to be blatantly obvious, there's nothing you can do about it. You got pregnant? Deal with it. Oh, but Elrond, I have beautiful boobs. I don't want them to sag. Should have used some birth control, honey. Um. <laughs> my cats are dri driving my dad crazy. I feel bad about it, but there's not much I can do. Um. Is there anything you can do to prevent stretch marks? No. There's, uh, you know, tons of creams out there. There's anywhere from like two and a half dollars a piece to like ten dollars a tub and up. No. Let's put some jergens on it. It'll help with the itching a little bit. I mean, I got this Palmer's cocoa butter and it feels nice. It didn't really help me. Alright, well, I may make another one about breastfeeding after she's born. Thanks for watching. The boobies love you.